Argentinian ambassador has expressed his country's interest in India's Tejas fighter jet, and he said that Argentinian pilots who flew the Tejas were really very surprised with the technology and the capability of the aircraft. The DRDO will showcase the prototype of the Zora War Light Tank at Defence Expo 2024 in Gujarat from 15 March. The Navy chief has said that INS Vikrant will achieve full operational clearance by the end of 2024, that will certify it as fully capable for carrying out its intended missions. Maldives president has signed a $37 million deal with Turkey to buy Aksunga drones designed for maritime operations and surveillance, a task that was previously done by Indian maritime helicopters in partnership with the Maldivian Defence Forces. In response to Iran's air strike inside Pakistan, Pakistan Air Force has carried out retaliatory strikes in locations within Iran. Bharat Electronics has received a 695 crore rupees order from Mazagin dock ship builders for the supply of spares related to missile systems. Indian Navy's INS Visa Kapatnim guided missile destroyer swiftly responded to the distress call by merchant vessel Genko Picardy after a drone attack and provided assistance, and now the fire is under control. North Korea has unveiled the set by all 4 and set by all 9 drone, that bears striking resemblance to the American MQ-9 Reaper and RQ-4 Global Hawk. The Indian Air Force is looking to procure 20 passive surveillance system under Make in India program, that would be used for air defense surveillance and ground-based electronic intelligence gathering. It will comprise of remote receiving stations and a master receive and control station, and will be capable of detecting intercepting locating identifying and tracking of active and passive targets. The capabilities include passive 360 degrees surveillance, continuous operations for 100 hours, and signals intelligence. The Indian government is in talks with UK-based firm Martin Baker to establish a domestic production line for ejection seats. India plans to manufacture and induct nearly 500 combat jets in the next 20 years, that includes Tejas Mark 1A, Tejas Mark 2, AMCA and Ted BF, and this large demand for ejection seats will be met locally. An Indian production line will transform India into a regional hub for Martin Baker ejection seats in Asia and beyond. While Pakistani analysts have claimed that the FATA-2 rocket can effectively take out India's S-400 launchers with saturation attacks, Indian experts have said that the flat trajectory of FATA-2 rocket makes radar detection difficult, but it also increases vulnerability to interception by low-altitude air defense systems. The FATA-2 will also be prone to electronic warfare near the S-400 launchers, and more than 40% rockets will overshoot and undershoot in high extensive spoofing environment. Indian Swati weapon locating radar can easily detect and track incoming artillery rounds and rockets and even locate enemy launchers, which will instantly become target of Indian counter-battery. Prime Minister Modi has inaugurated an international ship repair facility at Cochin Shipyard worth 970 crore rupees, that will attract international clients seeking high-quality services. Prime Minister Modi also inaugurated a 310-meter-long dry dock at Cochin Shipyard Limited worth 1,799 crore rupees. While budget constraints have led to a downsizing of the second indigenous carrier to 45,000 ton, Cochin Shipyard's future proofing strategy positions it to handle the potential 65,000 ton third indigenous aircraft carrier that will replace the INS Vikramaditya after 2035. Today's top 3 comments. <laughs>